Welcome to another A Hotshot tutorial video. Today, I'm going to teach you automation or conversation flows or the most common type of conversations your page might encounter. So, this all depends on your product or your brand. And let's start. Alright, so we'll start again with our bots menu page. Remember this merchandise page that we created in the previous video. It's also going to be the same page that we're going to use today. So, I'll just click and end it. And in this left corner of your screen, you will see automation and just select it. Alright, so before you start, you have to remember that your bot is only as intelligent as how you program it to be. So be careful with creating your flow. You have to make sure that you have all kinds of flow ready for any kind of conversation or question that your audience might ask. Alright, so to start, you'll see the features of your automation here. First is the welcome message, so this is your bot's response to anyone who messages your business page via messenger. So uh, generally, this includes a warm greeting or a bit of information about your page to orient the user about your uh, products and services. Next is the default message, or this is your bot's response to anyone who type in something your bot can recognize. So, uh, for example, they type in something that doesn't match any of your keywords, then they will be directed to this conversation. And this part right here, I just added this one. You can add it here in the new flow. You could add as many as conversation as you want. And remember this part to more products because we're going to connect it in the welcome message and I'll show you how later. Okay, so let's start editing our welcome message first. All right, and now you'll see this empty space right here when you where you can create all our conversations. We'll start with the block. Here are the things that you can use, but we'll start with the most basic, which is the conversation. And I can drag this around or you can drag it wherever you're comfortable with. I'll just put it in the middle and then we'll edit it. So first, the black name is here. You can rename your bot so that you can easily uh, recognize which conversation it is. Here is the bot messages. You can say whatever you want. And this is the user input type. Or it is the call to action near the expected reply of the user. So first. I'll add the black name, say welcome message. And I'll add the first message here. So this one, this could be as simple as the comment welcome to my page or what, but you have to be creative so that it can be more appealing to your audience. So let's and also, if you can notice this tool, you can use this. So say I want to use this attribute. If you want your messages to be more personalized, you can make your bot call your audience on their first name, last name, or full name, and I'll use full name. Okay, so you just entered Ruby Closet, for example. Okay, and if you want to add more message, just click add message. Okay, so a little tip here is it's a good idea to try and include a little question at the end of your message like this so that the user would feel like they have to engage with your bot. And once they did, they will automatically be subscribed to your bot and a hotshot will store the basic details provided in their messenger, like their name or their city they live in. And also, you'll notice this small circle right here. So this is the interval time on which the messages will be sent. So you can edit it if you want your audience to feel like uh, they are talking to a real human. So the longer the message, the longer the time interval, for example, I'll say two seconds. Next, for the user input type, you also have a lot of options, but I'll use quick replies. Okay, so I'll say, I'll, yes, show me. Or another option is no, no, thanks. Right, so you have to click this branch on button right here so that you can connect it to another flow and I'll show you how to connect it. 
So first save changes. Right, here you'll see you can connect it to another flow. This is the yes part and this is the no part. So we'll add another conversation. Okay, and we'll just connect it right here. I'll just repeat the same steps that I did with the first block. Um, say create, check out our steps. Boom. So here, if you want to show your uh, user your uh, products, it's great to use this cards button right here. You see, you can add the photo, the title, the description, and the URL of the product. So let's add our first photo. For example, I want this blue bag right here. So while the photo is uploading, you can edit the title. Blue leather bag. And for the description, you can add whatever you want, price, color, size. So for now, let's add, for example, color blue. For example, it has a block variant block. And next, the size, which is, for example, 10 by 8. And for the URL, if you have a website, you can connect it here so that your audience can see your product right away. Okay, so I'll just add this and say I want to add new product. I'll just repeat the same process. Okay, so you see I added more products and here you can add another option if you want to ask them if they want to buy or not. So I add another reply. Like for example, um, I want one. Or they have, they want to ask if you want, uh, if you have more products, more products. Or they don't want to buy any of your products. I don't want. Yeah. All right. So here you could uh, connect this tree again to another block. So this one you can redirect them on how to buy it. More products, more products, and I don't want one. I will show you later how what to do with that. So first, branching again, check and save changes. Okay, so let's add another block for the options. Okay, so I'm going to add the yes part here. And repeat the process, I mean the same step by product. Okay. okay, so in this part, you have a lot of options. You can either repeat the same steps that we had done earlier and continue the conversation, ask them the color they want, or the, prod, uh, the product size, or their address. Or you can also provide an order form that will directly store it in your Google so that it, will be automatic and I'll show you how to do it. So here I added again two options. I changed my mind, meaning they don't want to buy any more in this the form. You can add the form here. Just click Actions, Add Action, and then you see you can also uh, add a lot of options, but we now I'll use open website. And here I already placed my Google form hub. And that's it. If they click this button, then they'll, they will be redirected to your Google form and save changes. Okay, so remember that we had put another option in here. Uh, more products option so you can start an entirely new conversation redirect the conversation to another flow and i'll show you how to do it later but first you need to add actions start another flow and remember 
the one that I added earlier, the more products option. So you'll just click it and start with that. Okay, I'll show you later how to how I would redirect the message. So you'll just click add. Okay, and then save changes again. So now we'll go back to the uh, no part of the welcome message. Remember that one of the option is no. So we'll just gonna add another block. Okay, and I'll just drag it here. So I'll just edit it again as usual. For example, no. And I will add some message like this. Right, so in this one, I asked them if they want to receive any discounts or promos from your page, if they confirm the email below. So I was just going to choose email so they can just simply click on it if they want to receive it. So save changes. All right, so remember that this one were also no answers. So you can just simply connect all of it in this one block so they will have the same responses. All right, right, and that's it, a simple flow. Now you might be wondering if this conversation would really work. So if you wanna try it, you can always click this test on messenger button right here. So. If you uh, click this button, you will receive a notification in your FB account alerting you of the message. So let's try. Doesn't messenger. See, now I already received my notification. So this is how it will look like. So the welcome and the name, the personalized name, and choose which option, for example. Show me it. All right, see you are receiving notifications at the same time. A uh, person is interacting with your bot. So say, for example, I want one. All right, oh, I'll just go back here. You see all the products that we added before it's here. They can browse around like this. And you can add more product if you want, of course, for easier uh, transaction so now it automatically uh, redirected to our fill out form so for example i don't want to buy your product anymore so i'll just i change my mind okay so see it also has the same no response and i just have to click automatically click this email right here if i want to receive a more promos or discounts from your page so for example i'll click it all right so that's it your bot is working so let's go back to the automation right now i'm going to teach you the default message Okay, so here you'll be redirected to another empty page. So I'll just add conversation and edit it. So, for example, the bold message. So, again, this is your uh, what's automatic response to any conversation that it doesn't know. So, you could Type in a message like this, asking them if they want to speak to a human representative. So I'll just put some quick replies. For example, yes. Oops. Yes. Um, Right, so with this, you can notify an admin that someone wants to talk to a human. So we'll just add action, notify admin, and just type in like a code, talk to a human, and add. So an admin will already be notified if this uh, conversation happens so that a uh, customer service representative could attend with the issue. Okay, so. I'll just click save changes. 
So let's test it again if it's working. So it doesn't messenger. And see, that's the message right here. So yes, please, or no things. Say I want it. So yes, please. All right, see, I received a notification. All right, so let's go back to another automation. All right, so this one, remember, I said in the welcome message that one of the flows will be redirected to this flow. So we'll edit it again. Right now, you see, I already edited the block that will redirect uh, that will be redirected to the flow. So, right. So this is the more products option. Your bot will reply like this, and more products. And again, you can add a quick reply the same way you had added in the welcome message earlier, or you could add more blocks, more conversation if you want. So it depends on you, it depends on your page. So just say, click save changes for now. And I'll test it again on Messenger. Let's see if it's working. Right, so. See, I already received the product. And since I don't add any uh, quick replies in this block, you see, I don't have any options of what to do next. So it's really best that you always add a more conversation, more quick replies, right? Okay, so let's see other options again in the automation. So here I just want to emphasize again the importance of keywords because if uh, your bot doesn't recognize the message, it will just fall on the default message. So for example, for this more products, someone type in just products and there are no keyword here. So they will not be redirected to this flow right here. So we have to think of all the possible questions, all the possible words. So we say product, do you have more products? All right, something like this. And also, you have to add other messages depending on your page. So you could add more about customer issue, about the shipping fee, about how to order. All right. And that's it. That's how you create your automation. So if you have more questions or if you could just uh, visit other videos. And I hope you learned how to, learn, uh, how to make automation today. So... All right, so that's how you make uh, conversations or uh, automation. So if you have uh, any more other questions, you can check out the other videos. And thank you. See ya.